Let's create an ad. There's two steps to placing an ad on the site. The first is to create an advert, and the second is to place the ad, okay? So click Add New. First thing you're gonna do is name your ad, and I always suggest giving the a name that's gonna be easy to identify in the future. So that if you're you have a list of you know 30 ads on here and you're looking for one particular ad and an advertiser is running three ads. You want to be able to pick out which one that you need to edit. Okay, so so, um, so in this like every because like in our, in our other site or our current site I should say we have the advertiser then we have the ads underneath those advertisers. For this one, it's going to be every ad is an individual ad. Correct. Okay. Cool. Okay, so you want to use the advertiser name. Let's go with. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, and a hyphen, and then the type of ad it is. It is is it a leaderboard or is it a tile ad? Three hundred by two fifty. Okay, and then another hyphen, and the date. Um, okay, this is a protocol. You can customize this to anything that you want. I just find that this works the best, so that when you're looking through that list, you can you know pick things out if they're all named the same way. Okay, the next step is to add some ad code. You don't have to know code here. We give you basic examples over on the right-hand side. The best one to use is the second one from the bottom that has that target blank in it. Okay. That will add up into a new tab so that your readers don't leave your site. You can just click that and it'll pop over there all by itself. I mean, just out of curiosity, what are the what do the other ones do? The top one opens in the same page. You should just be able to click it. Yep. Yeah, well, that wasn't working. I guess I don't know. <laughs> the top one opens in the same page. I know there's one that has a frame. Let me just grab that ad. Okay. I'll show you where to do that next. Perfect. Okay. Oh, right here. Right. Okay. Now, in that ad code, do you see the first set of quotations? Starts with HTTPS. It's actually the URL. Yep. You're going to copy or grab your uh, advertisers. URL and paste it right over that. You don't have to worry about adding HTTPS or anything like that. And that's the best way to do it is grab it right from the site. Cool. So let's do that. There. Make sure the rest of that ad code stays intact. Okay. You don't want to mess with that. Okay. Scroll down. Now you're going to look at banner asset. Click that select banner button, and that's where you choose your ad. Yep. Once you select that banner, Dan, hmm. you're not going to see the image displayed right away. There's a little trick that you have to do. After the banner selected, put your cursor up in the white space in that box, in the ad code box, and click, and then your ad will show up. Oh, okay. 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 So that's one. And then yeah, that enable click and impression tracking for this advert. Once your site is live, that's going to be checked by default. So you cool. won't have to worry about that. The enable, both enables are checked by default. Okay. Okay. Let's scroll down. Next thing that your ad that's needs is schedule. Perfect. And WordPress runs on military time. If you click into that box, once the once it's working, a calendar will pop up. And then you can set your time. I normally do midnight to midnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once you have schedules set up, you'll see there's a couple set up here for demo purposes. You can reuse that schedule. So if you're putting up 10 ads 
that are running the same schedule, you don't have to keep creating a schedule. You can just check this box and select an, an already created schedule. Okay, these things we don't need to usually mess with. Um, everything that's on your site is also going to be visible on mobile. In the event that you do have certain things you want on mobile, certain things on desktop, we can configure that for you. Okay, and then you would save your advert. I always point out there's a blue button. Anytime you make any changes or edits or create anything, you want to look for that blue button. In this case, you're going to see save advert buttons all the way through this. Just concentrate on that bottom one, because if you click any of the previous blue buttons, they're only going to save that portion. The bottom bu blue button saves everything on this page. Okay. All right. Let's see if that works now. Yeah, you'll probably have to do everything all over again. Dan, I'm sorry about that. No worries. Good practice, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is a really nice plugin. Once you do it a few times, it'll be second nature to you. And this was a six. Um, Well, that's still not too much. It's going to pop over there for you. Uh, okay, that's good. Hold on. No, uh, I mean, I'll, let me try. I can try a different, um, you know, browser. See if that will do anything. Ah, you know what? I, I have Adblock on. This could be my fault all along. <laughs> Damn. Oh, weird. Ad blocker on. <laughs> Oops. I, I have it. I, I have it turned off on our current site. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Let's see if that'll help. There. Oh, there we go. Kevin, that starter. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. How about that? It's wonderful. And if it's any consolation, we've done that to ourselves too. <laughs> I'll make sure that, you know, I have this whitelisted and everything. There, and that works now too. Yeah, Great. Perfect. And there's your ad. Beautiful. Okay, you'll want to enable that click and impression tracking there. Perfect. Excellent. That's your schedule. Let's go. Make that midnight so it shows up right away. I mean, it will show up right away. But... Indeed. Also, I want to point out here, if you have an ad that's going to run indefinitely, you can change, we usually change the date to 2050. Okay. Okay, so you can do that without having to click through that calendar, you know, nonstop. Okay, scroll down and click Save Adverts. 